The disappointment over a failed school levy is setting in for some members of the Buckeye Valley local school district who were hoping to get new school facilities. The bond issue failed unofficially by less than two dozen votes. NBC4's Beth Del Pani has a look at some of the dilapidated buildings some were hoping to replace. Both elementary schools here in the district are very old. Buckeye Valley East 105. There's no air conditioning and cracked foundation. Just a couple of the problems that will now have to remain here longer. A group of about 20 community members led the push to bring two new elementary school buildings to the Buckeye Valley Local School District. No one seems to argue they are needed. Uh, you know, the single pane windows, uh, uh, the heat that we lose all winter long out of those windows, the uh, obsolete systems. We have a phone system. We had a phone system in there that we couldn't even get replacement parts for. There are no restrooms in these portable classrooms. Here inside of Buckeye Valley East, check out the old boilers and this ceiling with exposed pipes. But the push for an over $31 million bond issue that would cost homeowners of a $100,000 home approximately $110 a year didn't make it. It lost by only 19 votes. The general mood is very disappointing here today at the school. Emma Jane has four kids in school. She said at first many people thought the levy had passed. The fusion was the other outstanding uh, counties that we did not realize. Uh, some of us, some of us parents didn't realize that Morrow County was included in our vote as well. Those working on the levy campaign say before they try to pass another levy, they will focus on reaching out to parents who are newer to the district. It will now be up to the local board of education to make the final decision as to whether it will put another bond issue back on the ballot come springtime. Reporting from Ashley, Beth Del Pony, NBC4. All right, Beth, thank you. And now that the election is over, it's time to start cleaning up the yard signs. The Solid Waste Authority of Central Ohio says they are holding a recycling event this Saturday. You can take the signs to the Bill McDonald Athletic Complex on Olentangy River Road or the Morse Road Eco Station from 8 a.m. to noon. And to see all the results from last night, check NBC4i.com. They're right at the top of the page.